My name is Sue Ann Bohm, and I have two bunny rabbits, both female. One is a black rabbit named Cindy, and the other one is a black and white lop-eared rabbit named Trixie, and they are sisters. Originally, I was gonna adopt just one of them, and the attendant at the Humane Society said, these particular girls are very close, They've never been separated. They're always uh, affectionate with each other and we'd really like to try to keep them together. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll give it a try. We'll see how it works out. Cindy got into a bag of banana treats. Because of the sugar, they sort of caused her some stomach issues. I brought Cindy to a vet, but when I brought her home, I dropped the carrier on the floor and opened up the door. And within like a minute, I started hearing all this noise. And I came out of my office and I found the two of them just like battling each other. It was just an all out brawl between the two of them. You know, I'd never seen them act like that in the entire time I've had them. And I called the vet and I said, you know, what's going on? Did something happen when Cindy was there? And they said, no, when sometimes they're separated, it causes sort of some kind of rift between them. They gave me information about how to try to rebond them. After all that time that I couldn't bond them, I was seriously concerned that they might actually have to be separated for the rest of their lives. I figured, okay, I'm gonna call Dr. K. What you doing, Angel? You fighting with your sister? All right, ready for bunny camp. Sometimes it's difficult finding a veterinarian that does exotics. Oh no. Okay, okay, stop. Hey, 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 stop. You're gonna hurt her, now knock it off. They had been there, I think, about maybe two or three days. They called and said, okay, they're doing great, come pick them up, and I went to pick them up, and they were in the same carrier, and they were back to their normal selves that I was used to seeing. And I got them home, and I let them out, and it was like nothing had ever happened. The staff told me if one is sick and the other isn't, still bring them both to the doctor's appointments. Dr. K was recommended to me. I was told she was like one of the top bunny doctors in the United States and that she was the person to go to when I had some, you know, big problems. I love that she pushes her ear up too to groom inside her ear. They're the best. I'm very happy that I don't have to keep them separated, that I don't have to, you know, have one over at my mother's house. I'm happy that they're back to their affectionate, loving, you know, happy selves. They were back to being happy bunny sisters. You know, no, no one no one wants to see, you know, your kids fighting. <laughs>